Samson Tabby Tight. Fighters to the center. Gentlemen, this is the title, amateur title. I remind you, there's no elbows. We went over the rules before. I expect you to obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves and let's go to work. Five pound amateur MMA title. Lorenzo with a takedown attempt right off the bat. Good scramble, Samson's got. Improvisational striker. That's a guy that's talent for throwing punches wherever his hands happen to be. He's got some good cage pressure right here. Little body work. The big overhand puts it back against the cage. Lorenzo going for the guillotine. For a standing guillotine. Samson doing a good job of stiffening his neck up. I don't think Lorenzo's got enough of a height advantage to make that work right now. Samson seems to be focused on weakening Lorenzo's legs. He's kneeing them and punching them. Yeah, he's controlled the range by keeping the cage pressure against him there. Just hit what little strikes he can. And I got to think this is part of a larger strategy for Samson to keep the fight on the feet. If he can weaken Lorenzo's legs enough, I think that diminishes the threat of a takedown. Absolutely. You better keep that head high, though. Lorenzo keeps looking for that guillotine. <laughs> Thirty seconds left. Samson is really good at sneaking little body shots in. He is. Lorenzo trying to circle out. Samson keeping that pressure on. Lorenzo is doing a great job controlling Samson's head. That seems to be stifling a lot of what he's trying to do up against the fence. It is, but he's kind of showing those body shots are having an effect. Nice oh, swinging. Oh, good knee from Lorenzo. Couple punches. A striking exchange to close the first round. Both guys just throwing from their hip pockets. Absolutely. Hard, hard round to call. 
think I might have to give it to Samson, though, on the cage control through the dominance of the round. Samson kept Lorenzo pinned up against the cage, and he was effectively landing knees to the thigh and body shots for pretty much the entire round. The one scramble that went to the ground truly, too, he was on top of the aggressor. Right. I liked Lorenzo. Now, it seemed like Lorenzo could throw on par with Samson right there in the last 10 seconds when he tried, but he didn't seem to want to pull any of that out. Now, I think having done that and having scored with it at the end of the round, we may see him throw a little bit more in the second round. Lorenzo elected to not take the stool in between rounds. <laughs> so fighters prefer it. Nice body kick from yeah. Lorenzo and a leg kick from Samson right off the bat. Wow! Sky team. Lorenzo shoots again. Samson gets cage control. Good body shot. But you're right, Lorenzo is just latching onto that head. Yeah, he's latching onto the head, but he's not controlling position. Wow, Samson worked with that body. Oh, Lorenzo has had enough of those body shots. Oh, yeah. And he doesn't seem to know what to do from that position. He was yelling at his corner. I couldn't hear what he said, but he seemed out of ideas. Samson keeping the pressure on him. Still finding those busy strikes. I love those knees to the thigh. Now, because of the effectiveness of the body shot, Lorenzo is now holding Samson's left hand. He does not want to take any more of those body shots. No, he does seem to just be delaying the inevitable. He's also standing at a very weird angle up against the cage to protect his ribs. This angle actually puts him at great risk for a takedown, but I don't think Samson's looking for it. No, it seems Samson's content to just keep him pressured against the cage and win the small strikes. It's worked so far. Samson's got to be thinking, yep. Go attacking those legs, boy. Good body shot. Just under a minute left. Now, Lorenzo mainly focused on defense at this point, coming to the closing minute of the second round. He is. I think Samson should go ahead and drop down, take a double, take him to the ground, secure the ground for himself. Just put the exclamation point on the end. Nice strikes. Samson going low and high with those short hooks. 30 seconds left. Now, Samson also looks like he's trying to ride out the clock. Oh, he's still sneaking him in there. Great knee to the body. My bad, Samson. You still had some in the tank. Great job. Good job defending that takedown attempt from Carter in the closing seconds of the second round. Yeah, excellent hips there. two rounds for Samson right now as well. I think Lorenzo's got to do something to keep the range and be able to let his strikes go. Otherwise, Samson's just going to win this by cage control. Yeah. I mean, I think Samson, I think he felt that at the end of the first round. He spent the entirety of the second round stifling Lorenzo's ability to throw. He did, while still throwing some nice strikes yeah. from the clinch. His tight body shots from the inside, I think they've done more damage than any other single technique in this fight. Agreed. Round three. 
Now this is a potentially five round fight. Both fighters still looking pretty fresh. Yeah, they look good. Samson, uh, his hair's messy, but he's still moving great. Pressured him right back into the cage is Samson. Oh, looking for the take nice. this time. Now that was that position we talked about earlier. It is, but he better watch it. Lorenzo's throwing a triangle from bottom here. Now looking for the arm bar. Samson postures out, delivers some strikes. Great strikes. Fast strikes from the top. And he's kicking the legs. Sakuraba style. Great job, Samson. A little bit of a scramble. Stay on him, keep that pressure. Nice work utilizing that moment when a fighter gets up. Indeed. Landed two, three good strikes in there. Again, Samson forcing Lorenzo up against the cage to stifle him. It would seem Samson just has a different level of wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, I would say the clinch control and those body shots, I mean, that's really been the number on Lorenzo Carter. He's found no answer to that yet. No. I think that's what he was yelling at his corner about earlier. Is He doesn't seem to be able to get off the cage when Samson's pinning him up. Yeah, he's not really trying any different techniques here. He seems content to just try and minimize damage. Again, trying to control Samson's hand. Good knees from Samson. Now again, if Lorenzo wants to have any hope at this belt, he has to finish this fight. And so far, he's not been able to mount any sort of offense for the last two rounds. Go. No. Referee Liz Guerrero separates the fighters and restarts them. Now, Lorenzo really needs to let his hands go. This is his last chance. He does. Oh, great nice. head kick. And a, oh, oh, my gosh. This could be it from Lorenzo. That was a heavy set of lefts. I think Samson gets the pressure dazed. back on him. But he seems to be recovering well. Now, see, that just reinforces the point. Had Lorenzo really tried to throw those shots when he had the chance, he could have put him away. Indeed. I mean, there's a chance. Again, with the standing guillotine attempt. Samson has an arm in, and he seems pretty comfortable here. I think this is more of a stalling technique than anything. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't seem to be really trying to finish. With nine seconds left, he's going to jump into it, try and pull guard and crank it. I don't know if he has enough left. That's the end of the fight. Great fight there, but the story had to be Simpson's cage control. Oh no, we're going to championship rounds. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah, in the space of five minutes, I completely forgot this is a five round fight. I did too. Those first three rounds were so good. <laughs> well, we've got to be on the unofficial scorecard. Eric Dean's unofficial and meaningless scorecard. I say we're up three and zero for Samson right now. I have to agree, but Lorenzo was starting to see some success with his strikes in that round. For the now that time. Lorenzo knows that, that left hand can put Samson out, I've got to think he's got to use it more. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to let it go. Down three rounds to nothing. There's still got to be some urgency. Lorenzo still looks fresh. Samson possibly more tired, but expending more energy to keep Lorenzo up against the cage. Yeah, he seems to be breathing heavier, but both guys look to be in great shape. from the right side. Another head kick. Beautiful. Samson eats it. Samson Lorenzo closes better the watch distance that like arm. a savage. He does. Samson looking for the knees to the head here. Now we've seen that Samson can take Lorenzo down from this position. Lorenzo is looking for a Kimura there. He better watch Samson doesn't take his back off and he's looking to sweep the leg. Lorenzo's still got that Kimura hooked up. He's trying to crank it. 
Samson's coming around the back on him. He's looking to try and get one hook. Lorenzo's corner warning him to watch his neck. Lorenzo nods. He's aware. He's not giving up on that right arm. No, he's still got that Kimura grip, but Samson's starting to look for the back. Now, even if he doesn't get the Kimura, he is stopping Samson from throwing that right hand tight. Samson looking for one hook there, maybe a trip. Lorenzo turns back into him. Samson puts the pressure back into the cage. More body shots. More body shots. Oh, maybe a low blow. blow. This is the fourth round. Referee Liz Carrero stops in the fourth round. And Lorenzo will have up to five minutes to recover from the low blow. But Samson has five minutes to rest as well. True. It seems like a game that a fighter would be playing in their head right now. You know, what is the rest worth to Lorenzo versus how much breath does he want Tabby Tight to get back? Right. Lorenzo seems to be okay, though. Taking a little more time to breathe. And Samson is breathing heavier across the ring. Liz Guerrero positioned for the fighters and restarts the fight. There's that left again. That left is finding its home. The, the head kick as well. Lorenzo's left high kick has come three times yep. to connect. Oh, nice strike by Samson. Samson threw that fist like a fastball. Both these guys have chins. The only time I've seen one of them wobbles was when Samson took that overhand left, I believe, in the third round. But since then, he seems to have recovered completely. And those head kicks didn't even phase him. Samson's looking for that trip. He's got to complete that takedown when Lorenzo brings that leg up to defend. We've seen him do it once, but it doesn't seem to be his default choice. No, I think he feels he's winning the fight here in this position. He's yeah. content to keep the cage pressure on his opponent. Oh, he's looking for a takedown there. With the 10-second bell, both fighters oh. unload. Another high kick from Lorenzo. A knee right up the middle, two knees. Lorenzo stares down Samson, walking back to the corner. That was a much closer round. Now, Samson basically went back to the story of this fight, which is controlling Lorenzo up against the cage. But also, Lorenzo was able to add, he was able to add a lot of effective strikes to his tally this round. He did, even though he went for the same things that have been winning him in the fight so far. I, I felt like Lorenzo had a much better offense that round. Yeah, that round could go to Lorenzo, but still... Samson definitely has the first three, so I still believe that if Lorenzo wants any hope to win this fight, here in the last and fifth round, he's got to go for that knockout. So far, his high kicks haven't phased Samson. His knees, while beautiful, didn't phase Samson, but every time he lands that left hand, it startles Samson a bit. That left hand is really his most effective shot in this Absolutely. fight. Absolutely. He's got to let it go. Fifth and final round. For the bell. Both fighters look ready to go. Five more minutes stand between one of these men and the title. Great show of respect to open the fifth round. Oh, shins clash. That hurts. Lorenzo's letting him go a little more this round. I wonder if this is part of his strategy. I bet he would say so if I asked. Beautiful body kick. Great high, high kick. kick. Samson puts the pressure back on him right into the cage. Lorenzo lands that high kick at will, but he doesn't ever put 
full power on it. He kind of throws it as a jab. Right. But I feel like now that he's landed three times in a row, if he really turns on the juice, he might land that. He needs to set it up with strikes as well. Well, between his left hand and his left foot, he's got tools that he can use to potentially pull this from the jaws of the feet. Yeah, but he's got to get off this cage. Samson keeping that pressure on him, keeping yeah. the knees on him. And still Lorenzo with no answer for Samson's pressure. Lorenzo going with the guillotine standing for the third time in the fight. And again, Samson just straightens his back, stands up and nullifies the pressure. Lorenzo tries to sneak out the side. That's what he needs to continue to do. Circle those hips and get off that cage. Lorenzo, great job with the shoulder pressure. Just leaning into him. I'm sorry, Samson. Now, when Samson stays in this tight, Lorenzo has no chance of unloading with that power left. No, it really shuts down any of his strikes. Great knee to the inside of the thigh. Samson's been working those thighs hard. He has. He's had some great clinch work in this fight. His clinch work really won him this fight. I mean, assuming that he wins this fight. Pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, assuming if Samson wins this fight, it, we've got to say that his clinch work and his strikes from the inside, both those knees and the body shots, uh, were really what was able to nullify Lorenzo in this fight. Lorenzo's got to get off that overhook. He's got to bubble inside, get an underhook, and get some distance. Samson thought about a takedown there, but he couldn't get Lorenzo up. Both men feel this fifth round. And I don't think Samson needs the takedown. Why, why risk the position? He's still fighting for it, though. Going for that exclamation point. Ten seconds left in the fight. Lorenzo struggling to get free. Samson's not going to let him. Lorenzo gets free. He throws a knee and a right hand. But it's too little too late. Too little too late. Good show of sportsmanship between both fighters. Excellent five-round fight.
Check. <laughs>